Good morning. It's Monday, March 21st, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Moving Shadows, and our scripture, Psalm 39. I said to myself, I will watch what I do and not sin in what I say. I will hold my tongue when the ungodly are around me. But as I stood there in silence, not even speaking of good things, the turmoil within me grew worse. The more I thought about it, the hotter I got, igniting a fire of words. Lord, remind me how brief my time on earth will be. Remind me that my days are numbered, how fleeting my life is. You've made my life no longer than the width of my hand. My entire lifetime is just a moment to you. At best, each of us is but a breath. We are merely moving shadows, and all our busy rushing ends in nothing. We heap up wealth, not knowing who will spend it, and so, Lord, where do I put my hope? My only hope is in you. Rescue me from my rebellion. Do not let fools mock me. I'm silent before you, I won't say a word, for my punishment is from you. But please stop striking me. I'm exhausted by the blows from your hand. When you discipline us for our sins, you consume like a moth what's precious to us. Each of us is but a breath. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cries for help. Don't ignore my tears, for I am your guest, a traveler passing through as my ancestors were before me. Leave me alone so I can smile again before I'm gone and exist no more. A shadow has little substance. Now, that's more than an obvious truth. It opens a host of cans of worms for us humans. Our shadow is a subtle reminder of where we go and what we do. And when the track of the shadow moves away from God, or without connected relevance to God, it is rebellion unmasked. Our deeds give us away. When we prefer the shadows, we give traction to what the Apostle John wrote about the incarnation of godly substance. In John chapter 3, the judgment is based on this fact, God's light came into the world, but people love the darkness more than the light for their actions were evil. The psalmist admitted this well before John wrote about it, darkness is my closest friend. Both the Old Testament psalmist and New Testament apostle give rise to the shadow David wrote about in the beloved 23rd Psalm, a valley of shadows announcing death like a foreboding specter. The point of bringing the shadows into the light for our examination is not a morose elevation of gloom, but rather the warning intended by Scripture's overwhelming picture of light and darkness. God's Word shows us the difference between rebellion's darkness and the purpose of God's light of truth. God's desire is to bring us out of the darkness into His marvelous light. 1 Peter chapter 2, but you're not like that, for you are a chosen people, your royal priests, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. For you today. We understand darkness because we are fallen creatures, living in a fallen, twisted, rebellious towards God world. But we cannot come up with one sound reason as to why we're fascinated by and pulled towards the darkness. But we also understand the call of God, as C.S. Lewis put it, to leave the shadowlands of darkness behind. We are called to walk in his light, and there's no blind stumbling there. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.